Hi there, this is Christine. Um, I am making two alternate cards from the paper pumpkin. Um, I'm gonna make two separate videos for them. Um, just gives me a little more freedom. Um, so this is for the um, most amazing October Peaceful Christmas paper pumpkin kit. Um, this is a super simple card that I made just using the stamps and the ink, if you need a little inspiration. Um, but that's not what we're making tonight. So these cards are cards that I make with my paper pumpkin class. Um, so the first one is this one. And we're going to do our envelope as well. Um, so I'm going to make that one right now. And I'm going to do the other one in my other video. So I'm trying to think. I don't think I know. I do not need anything from the box. Only what I provided with the class kit. Um, if you are watching along and do not have a class kit, this is um, 11 by four and a quarter, thick white, scored at five and a half. Sorry, I'm gonna put my glasses on. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just fold that shut. I am not gonna decorate the inside of the cards on the video, but um, I would before I sent them out. Or maybe I will, who knows. You know what? I did this one. Look at that. So that's the big pine trees twice across. So it fits perfectly twice across. I think I overlapped one little tree in the center here, but you can't even tell. So it's just a nice way to decorate the inside. All right. So we folded this over. This is five and a quarter by four. Um, different paper. I did run out. Um, this is the paper that was um, the celebration paper from the, um, I didn't write it down. How silly of me. Yeah, I totally didn't write it down. Uh, Peaceful Prints, of course I wrote it down. The Peaceful Prints paper. Um, so it's not available anymore, but I know a number of you did get it. So, but you could do this with any paper. And of course I had my glue upside down. So just to give it a minute to get back to where I want it um so we're just I'm just using my liquid glue you could use you know any adhesive that you want to do this I am putting this layer flat and centered on my thick white cardstock I like to use thick for my card bases because it you can it stands up nicely so you can like you know the recipient can display it always nice for Christmas but my Christmas cards end up being part of my decor so you know. all right so we've got that and then you've got this is a piece of um, shaded spruce which was the ink spot that you got with this kit and one of the coordinating colors and I embossed it with the evergreen um, forest embossing folder so you can see it's really raised up I love the texture. Um, you could put this down either way. Um, whatever side you like best is the side that you can glue down. Um, I am gonna put this flat as well. Um, so where it's really ridgy, I'm being a little more generous with my glue, um, only because I wanna make sure I've got contact. So I'm going to center that. If you um, if you miss writing down measurements or want them, just um, you know, drop me a comment or send me a message, and I will be happy to send those to you. Then this ribbon is it's a little three inch piece of red ribbon. This is the real red double stitched satin ribbon. Huh, got that. So I am going to put this down actually using a teeny bit of tear tape. You could also use glue dots to do this. And I don't need a lot. This ribbon is wide enough that I can just put this in the center and it's not going to poke out on either side. So that's nice. Um, tear tape is just double sided tape if you haven't uh, used that before. I quite like it. Okay, 
So I'm going to put this there. And we have to do a little bit of stamping, right? So um, there are, so this is the, this is punched out um, with a punch, the Label Me Fancy Punch. And I believe these are the same style of label that we have in the kit. Those pretty die cut pieces. So, oh yeah. So if you're looking at your stamps, you won't see Merry Christmas to you and yours. I, I put that together myself. Um, and I'll show you how. So that's the neat thing with the clear stamps. I'm sorry, my ink was hidden. All right, so I've got my stamp on my stamp block. So I'm stamping and I'm intentionally making it um, kind of, I'm stamping in the top two thirds of the label and I'm intentionally leaving some space at the bottom. And that is so that I can use this tiny to you and yours stamp. I do find these fonts are a bit small, but it looks really cute. So I am just putting to you and yours down here. And then I've created kind of my custom stamp. So again, with the clear stamps, it's really simple to do that. You can use whichever of the sentiments you want, of course. And excuse my reach, I'm going to use dimensionals to put that on top of the ribbon. And the reason I want to use dimensionals for that is I'm not going to have any any ribbon bumps or anything showing through. It'll just sit nicely on top. And put that there. So that's that. Um, I am gonna do the tree on the inside because it's really pretty. And I also want to do my envelope. So I don't usually stamp the front of my envelopes because I figure if they're going through the post, um, you might need that space for an address or whatever. Whoops, dang. For some reason I didn't get proper contact on that one. So I'm just gonna put my stamp back down. This is a risk. You may or may not succeed in lining it up perfectly. Close enough is what I say. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this one to go down properly. I think it might be time to re-ink my shaded spruce. I've been using it quite a lot. So I overlapped the tree in the center just a little bit, um, but I still think it looks just fine. I can't tell unless you know. And for my envelope, what I'm doing is I'm going to stamp just the back flap. And to do that, I'm just putting one set of trees in the center. And this is where you have to really be careful not to rock your stamp because I've got some ink up here and some ink down here. So if I rocked it, I would have ended up really making a mess there. So just to keep that in mind if you get ink on your block. And I will clean that off later. <laughs> yeah, the green is on there. All right, so that is our first card for the class cards. So I'm gonna set this aside, stop the video, and I will make a second video for the last card.